Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about kettlebell selection size for men. Kettlebell size selection for men requires a couple of things you're going to think about. How strong is the person right now? But the main thing that we're really worried about is whether or not their arm will extend all the way overhead. If you are a man between, say, 18 and 50, and your arm will go generally straight overhead, then we would pick three kettlebells for you to start with. And I personally would pick 16, 20, and 24K kettlebells. Other people may recommend a 16K, a 24K, and a 32K. Uh, I'm not going to do that because then the math changes very much in the program, how the program is going to work. And that becomes a light day, a medium day, and a heavy day with three basically different forms of math to do the training. I tend to recommend the 16K, the 20K, and the 24K because the math can stay consistent all the way through. So these are the three weights that I recommend people use. Competition 16, competition 20, and competition 24K kettlebells. Uh, that's about 35 pounds, about 44 pounds, and about 52, 53 pounds. The reason I pick these is because I want people to do a lot of reps, and I want them to do the math very consistently all the way through. So if you were to start with a 16K, you could run the exact same math program with the 20, and the exact same math program with the 24, because the jump is fairly small. Between a 16, and the 20, you have 4K. Each kilogram is 2.2 pounds per kilogram, so you get an 8.8 .8 pound jump per kettlebell. And that is, that is a fairly large jump, but you can make that math work out very consistently without a lot of trouble. Other people who recommend a 16, a 24, and a 32, the jump is now much, much bigger. Between 16, and 24K, you have an 8K jump times 2.2, 8.8 pounds times two. 16, that's 17.6 pound jump between these belts, which means that the math has to change quite a bit in order for you to go from this one to this one to this one. And I'm doing this math basically all for the clean and press. Clean and press will get you most everything that you wanna get out of kettlebells. You'll do a swing program, a clean and press program, and probably some type of squat program, either a goblet squat program or a deck squat program with Turkish get-ups and snatches. Uh, Turkish get-ups usually being warm-up stuff and snatches usually being more developed, um, more advanced. If you get to the point where you're running a snatch program with this thing, it would really help to have a lot more weights than this. Going back to our 16, 20, 24K with our smaller jumps, these jumps are much closer to what people get with dumbbells. With dumbbells, you have five pound jumps in America or 10 pound jumps in America. So this is in between. So that's like going from a 40 pound dumbbell to a 50 pound dumbbell, instead of jumping from a 40 pound dumbbell to a 60 pound dumbbell. That the bigger the jump, the harder it is on you, the better you have to be at the math in order to figure out how to live through the program. So having more weights, means that you basically have to do less creative thinking to get what you want out of the training. Your three kettlebell option, you should always start with a 16K. If your shoulder generally works and you can lock out, if your shoulder locks out, then you're going to be able to get through this program. Some people who have general shoulder issues or back problems might need to go lower. Totally fine. Kettlebells are cheap. Surgery is expensive. So when I tell people to get six kettlebells, this is what I tell them to get. If they have shoulder injuries, we start with a 14, we go to a 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Suddenly you can run a perfect math program from here to here, and you can get way stronger, way faster, very predictably, and you don't have to do any creative thinking for like, I could, I could map it out, but I think it's about a year and a half. So having these kettlebells will give you everything you want to get out of your fitness program for at least a year and a half before you have to get creative in any possible way and think of anything outlandish to move yourself up. You essentially follow the same program all the way up and there is some like fancy stuff between jumping between heavy weights and light weights on alternate days, but we'll make videos about that sometime in the future. So if we do it this way, 
we have 2k jumps between, and suddenly the jump goes from being 2k, which is really 4.4 pounds, which is the normal jump that people make with dumbbells. So this becomes extremely manageable for almost everybody. It is cheaper to get more weights and have the math be easier than it is for you to get less weights and end up tweaking yourself. Tweaking yourself is always more expensive because it always takes time away from training and you're always gonna to have to seek out a lot more information to figure out how to make a program work that has bigger jumps in it. In review, these five kettlebells, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, if you get these, you will definitely get what you want out of kettlebells. It's almost impossible to mess it up if you run the, a clean and press program, a squat program, and a swing program with these weights. The adaptations will become basically permanent. If your shoulder doesn't quite work as well as you would like it to, or if you have injuries from some other type of activity, then start lighter. Kettlebells are cheap. Surgery is always going to be expensive. In the beginning of training, we only had that, and we only had this way back in 2001 to 2004. Then we got the 20, then we got all these other weights filled in. Now there are 2K jumps available from almost all the companies that make good kettlebells. So get the 2K jumps, it will make your life substantially better, substantially easier. You don't have to go through all the horrible stress that all of us went through when we all started becoming kettlebell trainers back in 2005, six and seven. The weights weren't available. We had to do all kinds of creative math to figure it out. You don't have to do that now. Do it the easy way. Do it the easy way. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.